Well, the whole concept of this machine is the original machine is probably about four foot wider. So we uh, developed something more compact and uh, we can run both the tennis and the mortise in two cycles rather than if it's a, if it has a, uh, uh, four or six lats that would be 14 cycles now we're down to two no matter what we put in there but first thing in the morning what they have to do is they have to put in manual to do their spindle warm-up once they do their warm-up they can put it in auto select their part and then they can run you're doing two operations but basically it's you know you're able to load the bottom station which is cutting your tenon and then as that's running you can you can load the top which will be your mortise your rail piece and then you can hit cycle start and what that'll do is as soon as this this cycle is complete your tenon cycle is complete it'll automatically go up to the mortise okay. and vice versa so once they're running the mortise they can be turning around the bottom station. We have three parts that we're running. So, and in that three parts, there's actually two main part programs. You have a tenon part program, and then you have a mortise. And what we do is I actually move it to a offset position, and then I call up a part program, if you will, because they're all the same, all right. um, at least on the tenon station. The mortise runs a little bit different. I. Uh, Basically, I move it to our zero point on the mortise and then it calls up that part program and it runs it. And coming from not knowing anything Fanuc wise, it was just, it's just trying to understand the whole, I mean, it's a very powerful tool. It's, it's getting to understand what that tool is. Now that I have a little bit of knowledge, it's very, to me, it's a lot of information that you can use. Usually when I design a machine, if it's a button that's going to be used multiple times i mean like right now they're gonna hit this uh, say uh, they run 500 cycles i do not want to put that on a touch screen first of all if you say you're on this screen and it's on another screen the operator will have to change it so you got your cycle start your feet hold and then your emergency return that's stuff that they should have access to no matter what screen they're exactly. on with this machine basically it's pretty simple you're running two parts so if i come in here and i'm an operator and i know i'm going to be running R100, it says system ready, that means everything's okay. I just select that. Okay. My whole focus was is for them to work off of one screen. If they, the operator should only go to this one screen. Okay. Um, they, If they have a fault, they'll be able to go to the fault history and see uh, what their history is. Um, but other than that, the only reason they should go to any of these other screens is for a maintenance purposes. Okay. I like to make the maintenance guy's job as easy as possible. Mm -hmm. You know, so if there's any alarm, like right now we have alarm and it tells you air pressure fault. But we definitely appreciate the support that Fanuc gave us because that doesn't, you don't get that very often.